We want to talk about language because um, I want you to know that I'm the youngest sister and she's the oldest sister. And in between us is um, our middle sister is Tammy. And in our reservation, her job is, what's her official title? Dakota Language Director, System, our Dakota Institute. She's a director. And she has been trying to preserve our language, which is, you know, we're all concerned about losing our language. Mm -hmm. So for years and years now, she has been working on making curriculum materials in Dakota for the schools and for individuals. She has a pro program through Transparent Languages, a bikey program just for Sistin Dakota that we use in our schools. Everybody relies on her program and on her in particular to create signs and anything you could think of. Um, she's made um, all occasion cards like birthday cards and Valentine's Day cards and games. She made a, a Scrabble game. She got permission from Hasbro and she made a Scrabble game in Dakota. Our dad was a fluent speaker. We lost him, but he was very fluent. And um, now our sister Tammy, she's fairly fluent and, and she's a second language learner because we didn't grow up speaking it. So we knew some words just from hearing what we weren't supposed to hear. <laughs> but And then Sherry's been working hard. You yeah. can talk about learning it. Oh, yes. It's, it's at times I feel like the language is, is part, part of my being. And I don't want to be known as the generation that lost our language. And so I'm presently in, in an education program that's um, building language and b being a, actually a certification program. And gee, tomorrow I have to teach a college class using our, our language. And, and other things that we've got going is we've had Jeopardy programs. We've just released our first Dakota Dictionary. And we're already re working on the next version or how to upgrade it. And we've, we're recording. We're recording our elders. Right now, out of all the Dakota tribes, we have the most speakers, the most first language speakers left out of the five Dakota tribes. And people look to, towards our tribe as, as that savior and that help for that. And so we're recording elders, we're recording, doing tape recording, video recording, um, we're doing whatever we can to save that language. Um, some new things that we're working on within the education department is, is immersion programs in, in daycare. So I've got meetings with daycare people, with um, the Head Start program, um, how we can do an immersion within the Head Start, and actually working with the Office of Head Start on immersion programs. and then. Um, one of our local tribal schools is going to have an immersion classroom by um, this coming fall. Mm -hmm. And so as a tribe, we're working on developing that curriculum. So I'm talking to publishing companies and, and trying to figure out how we can develop these, these uh, resources and materials because the only resources and materials that we have in Dakota are created through, the, through Tammy's program, which is the Dakota Language Institute. And so, the, all kinds of things. I meet with the college board this weekend and we're going to talk language there. So we have a lot of language um, initiatives. When the Hawaiians first started their journey for language, they, they had a thousand speakers left and they declared it an emergency, state of emergency. Well, we're like at 68 speakers left and so that are truly first language speakers. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking at language nests, we're looking at our schools, we're looking at our daycares, we're looking at our Head Start, we're, we're looking everywhere. We're creating our first cohort of um, truly language speakers that have come through that have the methodology of um, teaching language, the theory base of how languages are learned. And so we're doing that on the college level. So we have a lot of um, initiatives going and it's very aggressive because at this point in time we have to be aggressive. That's our language. And we have it in both of our school systems that, that are tribal schools. It just hasn't been effective enough. We haven't produced fluent speakers even though that our students have had it every year. So one of the biggest push in the K-12 system is trying to find a more effective way to produce fluent speakers by the time they exit their education. Mm -hmm.